Welcome to another video of Catan, game of Catan. We are in first position on this board, and I'm looking at the 496 going off to the 3 to 1. The 438 isn't bad. Let's see, 5. Can we pull off getting the 8105 here? The question is do we get on wheat on this board? And I'm not sure if we do. I mean, there's a lot of spots. And then we always, the three to one could get snagged by whoever takes three, four, eight. So we can't count on that. Let's see. If we take the eight, ten, five. Hmm. We're going to be competing with a lot of other people. Because the problem here is the second position is going to take the four, nine, six. But it's such high production. I mean, worst case scenario, we get the, we will get wheat on the way back. So I think I'm going to take this. Let's see, someone takes the 5, 8, 4, 4, 3, 6, 9, 6, 5. So yeah, so we should get wheat. We should get wheat on the way back. Second position probably takes, okay, 5, 9, 10. Um, probably not where I would go. Just because, but on the way back, he's not going to have any ore, ore placements. Appreciate all the support and comments we've been getting a lot um, recently. Um, it's always nice uh, when people kind of analyze the game on their own and take something away from it. And I read all the comments too, by the way. So it helps me um, play better myself. So green, I'm assuming, takes the 496. And then what does fourth position take? There's a lot of good spots still open. Um, fourth position is going to get on war, which is always good. If we somehow got the 584, then we are in a really, really good position. Very doubtful, though. Very doubtful. I think we might get the 12, 11, 6 though here. Very possible. I'm assuming third position takes 4, 9, 6. Fourth position takes 5, 11, 4 with the 8, 3, 4. Beats me to the 3 to 1. Really decent setup. This should be a quick game. Anytime there's a lot of, there's two good ore spots on the board, like in this scenario. Oh, and then he gets the 3, 4, 8. That's a really, really good setup. And he'll beat me to the 3 to 1. That's a really good setup. But anytime you get, yeah, really solid. Anytime you get two ore spots, I like to value uh, knights a little bit more just because you can keep that other ore spot blocked and your ore spot open, which is huge on a board like this. Now what helps here is that he's competing with red. Oh, okay, red's reconnected, so we're good. Okay, so green, green could also take the 12, 11, 6 here. That wouldn't be the worst placement for him. And then red, red is, red's got a tough spot. Um, I think it was a mistake going on the 9, 10, 5, because you just left a killer setup for fourth position. And I think in general, being in fourth is usually worse but when you're playing with um, not as experienced players, then it can be pretty good, like in this scenario. This is just a killer setup. And I wouldn't be surprised if this 8 is blocked quite often, just to prevent blue from taking over. Okay, hopefully we get this 
9 here. If not, we're actually in trouble. I mean, we'd have to take the sheep port here. Which actually isn't the worst thing. This actually isn't the worst thing. If we have to take the sheep port, I'm actually considering that even with the 6, 9, 12. Reason being that I could actually get to the 3 to 1 port. And I can double up on wheat here. And I hurt blue as well. So very much considering the 810, I think I would take the 810 over the 9612. Just because it's a huge risk if I can't double up on the 8 and get on the 3 to 1. I mean, I guess I could swing over to the other 3 to 1 on the wood. Interesting. So red really wanted to get on ore here. Okay, so the problem with this now is that green has this whole board open to himself. So this is a tough this is a tough decision here. So do you take the 810? You have your immediate sheet port. You can maybe be blue to the three to one, double up on the eight, and you have your coordinated eights. Do you take the six five eleven more production but prevent green from taking complete control? I think we have to take the sheep port here. I think that's our re really our only option. We have to worry about green a lot more, but 12 hits right off the bat for red. Red has two ore now in hand. Now red should block that eight all day. That eight's fine too. Steals from blue, good. And what's really good about that too is the fact that it breaks up his road. Because now we're definitely fighting for the three to one spot. So blue probably robs maybe the 10, so, so we can beat me to the three to one. That's probably what I would do. Doubling up on the ores, but he blocks the six, interesting. I would probably be stealing from me, because the key for blue is to get on the eight. It's to double up on the eight. Which he should be able to do pretty soon. Red is going to be a tough game for him. Blue, three brick in hand. Yep, he has it. That's tough. That is tough. But we do have our sheep port, thankfully. And we're going to get on the wheat port instead of doubling up on the eight just yet. We're gonna go to the wheat port first because one that helps us get more sheep. Anytime a five hits, we'll have an extra card. Now it's not as. Hmm. Two. No, not worth it. But this will be a tough game because blue also has coordinated eights. So if the eight's blocked, I might even just leave that blocked. This is very true, by the way. I think blue does have the advantage. Um, two wheat spots, solid sheep spot. Like my only advantage here is if the 10 hits quite a bit. Um, and then being on the extra five helps a little bit, but it doesn't outweigh the double ore here. 
and there's not much I can do about it either besides blocking the five. I don't want to give him a city. But he's, he had a city regardless. Nah, I wish I would have taken that. I didn't think he'd have a city regardless. Let's see if anyone has wood. Blue has wood. Surprised he gave that to me. Yeah, so we need to city up this 5, 8, 10 as soon as possible. That's going to be the next priority before even doubling up on the 8. That'll really help make our 10 and 5 a little more actionable. Should be a quick game, though. Blue with another city. We have our city now. From Green's perspective, he can't even prioritize a city because he needs to keep this eight blocked. Blue might have another city. Nope. Or yeah, he just rolled. He needs dev cards at this point. Yep. That's what he's doing. Three dev cards. Wow. That is tough. So now he has the um, Also, I've never seen a game where the the numbers of the cards are being shown. That definitely helps uh, Blue here. If he has a Monopoly, he knows exactly when to use it. Eight, yep. Solid. Green falling behind, he needs a city, but he also needs knights. So at this point, me and blue have the initiative, so it's really just a battle between me and blue. Maybe he blocks the 10 or the five, he blocks the five. He blocks the six, interesting. If I was him, I would be blocking me for sure here. Now we really want to outpace him on our knights. Problem is he has just so much more production. We really need our fives and tens to hit. No one should make this trade. That's another dev card for him. I don't mind the eight being blocked. The eight or, because that's really the key to blue's advantage here. And being on a little extra wheat. He's still able to buy dev cards though. And the 12, maybe, let's see if anyone makes this trade. Probably shouldn't.
Red is um, totally out of the game. Green, green's pretty much out of the game. It really just depends on what dev cards blue pulls, but I mean, besides road building and even road building is not the worst thing. He just got a killer setup because of Red's placement. Red should have placed on the 348. And then Blue would have had a tough decision. But, I mean, his 12s have been hitting. Another 12. Nine. I want to get devs here. But unfortunately, he's still going to outpace me because he has three. So if he sees that I have a dev. God, it's so tempting, though. Because if he still doesn't play it next time, then. And I get another dev card, maybe I can outpace him. It's a long shot, though. I think since it's still early in the game, I need to double up on the eight. Because it's just unlikely, unless Blue doesn't see it, that he needs to block, that he would need to use his second knight. Plus, that's also assuming that I have enough resources next go around to keep stacking up. But Red should block the eight here, which I'm fine with. Wrong eight. Wrong eight. But at least he's still from the right person. Wrong eight because he still has the four. So it doesn't do that much damage to blue. Assuming he uses, yep, he has his knight. Puts it back on the six. Still very surprising. Steals from red. Red's not a threat at all. Should probably put it on the 5, but he puts it on the 10. Steals from me. Get an ore. It's not over, but it's going to be a long, long road ahead. Blue have another knight. He doesn't. Okay. That's a good sign. We have another city. Which I think we'd want to put on the five, actually. So red maybe isn't out of it. I mean, he can get on the six five eleven. That helps him out a lot. He does have the wood port. The twelve has been hitting a shocking amount of times, and he's definitely gonna get longest road. Green finally with the city. It's a little bit too late though. If I hit a ten five any of those, I'm definitely prioritizing depth cards here. By the way. We have all that we need for cities. Blue. Three for ones for a knight. Does he have a... You have plenty. He has 11 cards. I'm sure he can three for one. That gets him to six. Four, three for ones is or. Very interesting. And he doesn't play a knight here either. I really hope he can roll a 10 or a 5. But we do not. We do have our wheat port though. 
but that's just so inefficient that it hurts. And also knowing that we have the wheat port, I am going to do the 10-8. Let's see, maybe someone will do this. See if anyone, this is a great trade. Would give this to Red if he takes it. He doesn't. We really want a seven here. We hit our five, but we really want a seven. Because right now, Blue can is gonna buy as many dev cards as he possibly can, make sure he gets army. He could have ended it last turn. Wow. And no, no seven. So he definitely has a VP. And that's GG then. Um, I don't know what we could have done better there. Maybe kept the eight blocked, but... Blue just had all the initiative. I think we played as well as we could have. If we could have beaten Blue to the 3-1, to one, that could have helped, but tough game. Oh, we already, already left. Um, tough, 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 tough. Twos, 11s, 12s hit an insane amount of times. Three times on the 12. I think that's the only reason... Red stayed in it. I think green should have probably prioritized dev cards. So we, me and him could have both kept blue blocked. Because he just had an insane setup for this game. Brought on the most amount of resources by far. Good game. We did what we could. It was interesting seeing uh, two or we cheap setups really uh, collide. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.